Hi, I'm David. Welcome to Bonsai Fly. Today I'll be working on this Buddhist pine. I'm really not feeling the pot, so I will change it. And I'm trying to get as much of the black soil out of the roots as I can. I am not cutting any roots though. This is the pot that I'll be placing this tree in. I think that this classical brown pot will shift the focus of the composition more towards the tree than the white of the old pot did. As always, I prepare my pot with mesh and wire. Then I'm filling the pot with my soil mix, which is a 50-50 mix of pumice and lava. Then I tie my tree into the pot with the wires and fill up the rest of the pot with soil. Afterwards, I make sure to work it in with chopsticks. This is what the tree looks like in the new pot. Four weeks later the tree is doing fine and even put out some little new growth and since this is a subtropical species it was fine to work on it. I start by cleaning out dead pieces and old wire. There's a large directional branch right in the main arch of the trunk line. This takes away from the trunk line and has to go. Instead of just cutting it off though, I am making this a gene or dead wood branch. I'm using fire to give the jean a more weathered look. Lime sulfur is applied to preserve the jean. It also bleaches the wood and therefore gives a sharp contrast to the brown bark. I am then creating a shari, which is a dead wood part on the trunk.
Then I prune the first directional branch and wire it. Since this is a conifer, when setting the branches, I really go for paths that are relatively flat. I make sure that the branches are set horizontally and also just a little bit dropping, as is natural for conifers. I want to bring down the apex of the tree a little bit here, so I'm using a guy wire.
I am using another guy wire to tilt the apex a little. Then I create more deadwood features. <laughs> 